day and happy Memorial Day. Oh, it's your girl having a coach and this is my YouTube channel where I vlog about my daily life. If you guys, <laughs> hopefully you guys are watching this while y'all doing something at work, pass the time by or eating you some nice little dinner or lunch or breakfast, whatever you might be or cooking it. I'm glad you guys are here with me. So today is Memorial Day, y'all. And sadly, y'all know I was supposed to be going on vacation um, with Sweet Baby. And unfortunately, I ended up getting whatever he had and caught the fever and the excruciating headache. Like... When he had the headache, he was crying. And now that I have had the headache and the um, fever, I can kind of see how if you're like a young child, you would cry because I was in bed all day. Sweet baby was actually with my mother and literally the headache lasted 24 hours just like his. Literally my mother was, um, watching him and I couldn't even go pick him up because I was in that much pain. I just got me some Target pull-up order to go and they bought me out some paper towels and things like that because today Sweet Baby threw up all over my bed and we had to clean he threw up in the restroom so we had to clean every everything up and um yeah, it was just like I needed to restock on some things, but I had them bring it to the car and put it in the trunk. I didn't get out or touch nobody or nothing like that. So, just updating you guys. I feel so sad because we were supposed to be at vacation today at this really, really cool place. I'm not going to talk about it until we actually go because we are going to make it happen. We are going to go. It's just, it's just got delayed and I'm pretty sure it got delayed for great reasons because God has a reason for everything happening. Um, but yeah, um, just updating you guys and plus the place that we were going, it has water slides and I didn't know or think that you can't get on water slides while you're pregnant. <laughs> Like, I don't know. Something was like, look up the description of the ride and rides. And a lot of them were saying you can't get on the water slide if you're pregnant. I didn't know that at all. But I was still going to go because the place is a beautiful place. And um, they have other ac activities <coughs> outside of um, the... What is my lip? Is that a bump on my lip? Is that like a fever blister? <coughs> I don't know. It just looks strange. It doesn't look like nothing, but it kind of looks like something. Um. Yeah, honestly, I just wanted to go so bad. I was so excited. I was looking at all the restaurants they had there. They even had this place this one restaurant that had this ribeye steak, y'all. And I've been wanting me a good steak so bad. So I was just ready. But it didn't happen this time. <laughs> and it's, it's okay. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come and update you guys. This is probably going to be a one vlog up, uploaded on Saturday. Just because I'm not going to be that much active this week because um, of everything that I got going on. Um, <clears throat> yeah, guys. <laughs> I feel so sad because we had plans and we weren't and the good thing about who we were going with, Sweet Baby would have had people to go on the water slides with him, not just me, even if I was not feeling well. Like, well, not, 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 I'm not feeling well. Even though I was pregnant, it was going to be other children that could go down the water sides compared to just being me and him going. But everything works out for good reason. And 
I'm pretty sure that something else is gonna come up, another opportunity, but just not right now. So, <laughs> happy Monday. I hope you guys are having a great Memorial Day right now. I'm headed to my mom's house. My mom doesn't care that I'm sick at all. And actually, she's been around us the entire time. Um, before I got sick, during I got sick, the day I got sick, she she was around. We were actually sharing food. So she's pretty <coughs> healthy and confident in herself. So I'm headed over there. I'm about to bring her some paper towels as well. And she made deviled eggs. <laughs> and I want a deviled egg so bad. So I'm going <coughs> to get one of those. And yeah. Bye, guys. Happy Monday. Happy Memorial Day. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? It's me and Mommy. We making a creation for my dad. Yes, yeah, so we are sick. So we got to be, like, in the house away from people. What's today? Oh, happy Wednesday. Yeah. So, we're just doing different arts and crafts. Um, yes. Hand me your school book. Okay. Ooh. Whoa. So, Sweet Baby School does the Abeka. Um, we never did this. Miss Carter just gave me it. Yeah, the, uh, the Abeka curriculum at his school. But since Father's Day is when school is ended... Mm -hmm. Um, they just sent all the workbooks home since we do buy them and pay for them. So we're just going to, during this time when he's not in summer camp, um, utilize some of the curriculum yeah. that, that they one. gave us. <laughs> gave you. So he already glued the border and I was thinking like, oh, I could vlog this or whatnot. So he's about to do his handprint. So I'm gonna paint his hand. I think I the, think the thing that you need to use is like a little brush to spread it. So which hand you wanna do? This, this one. one. Okay. This is your right hand. Yes. Okay. So right hand. Yes. Oh no. He been eating hot chips. Yeah. Oh, how does it feel? Oh weird. It feels weird. Okay, this cotton ball is falling apart. I feel oh. like it's permanent. No, it's not. Hold on, let me get another one to finish your fingertips. Wah, me. Sakara, wah. Wah, me. Okay, okay. Okay. Do you think we... It looks like a... Let's see. Yeah. Okay, you think that's good? Yeah. Okay, now put it in the middle. Alright, let me push, push, push. Say, I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. Okay, let's see how it looks. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, hold on. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to tell you because it might mess up if we try it again. Oh, okay, come on. Let's try it again. We don't want this. Maybe I didn't do it thick enough. Wait, there's some more you missed. Hold on. Maybe just... you got to get the white spots on my hand. Maybe you got to get that. Okay. Things are... Uh, okay. I'm doing uh, it thicker this time. Uh, Hold it straight out. It feels like hot Cheetos when you rub them into the little okay. liquid. Try to put it where you already did it the first time. Let's see. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you got some on my nail. Yes, I'm sorry. Okay. This one is better. I'm pretty sure of it. Let's see. Oh. Lift your hand up. Okay. okay. <laughs> that looks a lot better. Okay. Even though the fingers are kind of smushed. Oh. What do you think? It's pretty good. It is. You did because look at that little finger. 
But this little finger. You think daddy's going to like it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, go wash your hands. Okay. All right, this is the best we can do. But, yeah, we got it out, the activity, uh, the art project book. We got the phonics book. We got all different kinds. So, just coming to update y'all on what we're doing since we're in the house. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. No, happy Wednesday. So it's Wednesday. Um, I went over to my mom's house to do Sweet Baby's hair. I mean, I went to my mom's house to do her hair. And Sweet Baby ended up staying with her. So, like, I just got the evening kid free. Cause she was like, can I stay? Can I stay? And she was like, I guess she just was feeling her hair so much. She was like, yeah, cause she usually don't let him stay during the week at all. So I guess she felt like, oh, you did a good job of my hair. So I'll let him stay. Uh, but yeah, literally I want, I want some juicy crab. I want some shrimp and I want to have it with some rice. But I was having this thought about this time when I used to live in the ghetto, the ghetto, ghetto. Not just saying it's ghetto, but this is the, the ghetto, the housing projects. And y'all, okay, so the story go like this. I had not cooked in my kitchen because the apartment had roaches. The sweet baby was a little bitty baby. He was like maybe eight months. It had so many roaches, so I would never cook in the apartment. But I kept bombing it. I kept um, bombing it, bombing it, bombing it, and just like spraying and putting like this gel stuff down. Let me know if you ever like bought this like gel that you put like in the corners of your cabinets it's like on amazon and i really got it from shameless maya about like she used to make this like egg dish with boric acid because she lived in new york and she would talk about the new york roaches so i had got some gel stuff from amazon and i put it all the way around and so i didn't see no roaches for a long time so i was thinking like okay i finally got the roaches out i can um start cooking in the kitchen you know since it's all clean and stuff y'all tell me why i invited this girl over and i would always talk to this girl and she would be looking at me like i was crazy because i would always ask her like oh so what's your business plans like what kind of business you want to run and she'd be like oh i just I just I just want to have a good job and stuff like that so she thought like I was just crazy for always wanting to start a business but nevertheless um and I'm at the Wendy's drive-thru right now getting some food for dad um I got me a pineapple mango drink because I, I think I'm gonna go to Juicy Crab so I invited her over to have a seafood bowl y'all why when I we was cooking in the kitchen all the roaches started coming out and I was so embarrassed so I was like can you go get a towel out the hallway in the closet oh can you go get some like can you go get this to try to get her out the kitchen to hurry up and kill the roaches but the roaches is every fucking where they is everywhere and I didn't know that the roaches didn't die from the bombs they just move behind the stove so it was just like i was just thinking about that because i want some seafood and i was thinking about that time after that we never talked again <laughs> we never ever talked again i'm pretty sure she was like this nasty girl <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> sorry but it was just crazy just a little story time since i haven't really been vlogging that much because i've been in the house and stuff but we never was cool after that. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, okay. Thank you. You do the same. So after that, she didn't um like we didn't we didn't talk after that at all, but it was just crazy how 
all them roaches, they didn't, they didn't leave the apartment. They moved behind the stove and literally that was the, my first time cooking. I thought I cleaned everything nicely. It was like, oh, I could finally have company now since all the roaches is gone. And it was just coming out. And so we were sitting down to eat. Remind you, I cooked everything in a bag, just like how Juicy Crab. So nothing really got touched by roaches or anything like that. But she didn't eat nothing. She didn't eat none of that food. And I don't blame her. <laughs> But that was just my story time. That was just one of the funniest things ever. Hey. Yeah, in the um, dry. Yeah. So I wanted to come and tell y'all that story time because it was unbelievable. I can't believe that happened to me. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Thank you. So, I hope you guys are having a good week. Comment down below and drop some of your most embarrassing stories. Like, that was so embarrassing to have. I can't even say it was embarrassing. I just wonder where the girl at. <laughs> like, where is she right now? Like, how is she doing? How would she feel if she saw me? I know she just probably tell that story to other people like girl I, somebody am, I, that's why I don't eat at people's house somebody invited me over and they had but trust me y'all I would not I wasn't even eating out the kitchen at all I wasn't eating out the kitchen at all until I thought I got all the roaches but I didn't so that was just it. super interesting all oh, this man right here Damn. Let me try this. I'm trying this Wendy's. Hey, God bless you. This Wendy's, um, what is it? Pineapple mango juice. This is disgusting. Pineapple mango lemonade. Maybe it's just too watered down. Mmm. -hmm. They had a blue blueberry pineapple one that was so good. That was some years ago. So, but anyways, bye guys. I just wanted to come and tell y'all that because this story always comes to my mind. Like at the time, you invited this girl over for seafood, and all the roaches came out. <laughs> Hey y'all, so I got my juicy crab. I'm leaving now. But honey, while I was in there, it was it was all these boy moms. And they was just making me feel so missing sweet baby. Like one little boy, he and his mom, they was like, we probably was like the same age because her little boy was like six. And she was there and he was just hugging on her like sweet baby do me and then this other mom who is like her son is hold on put this up her son is 16 and the host she's 16 too so she came and asked how old is your son and oh my goodness, he might go up there. Oh my goodness, he might go up there. He might go up there. Hold on, y'all. Why? Why the AC? Let me turn. Okay, y'all. This is this. This is the woman's son. He walking out there. He walking to go talk to the girl. He walking to go talk to the girl. Okay, y'all. So the little host girl was like, "Oh, how how old is your um?" Oh my goodness, she didn't came outside. Yeah. Them talking. She worked at a juicy crab. She asked about about him. I don't know, it's not focusing. But Okay, so she asked the mom, like, oh, how old is your son? And she he was like she was like 16 and then the the boy cause she sent like 
the flamboyant boy back there to ask the mom because we was in the to go like they have a main entrance in the to go entrance so the girl said like you know her like i guess bestie to go and say how old is your son and she was like 16 and see and he's like okay he walked back in he was like oh well she's 16 too so can can he come to the um let him come to the front if you know he would he would like to talk to her and she was just laughing like <laughs> i will do that i'll pass the message i guess she told her son like hey the girl in there want to talk to you and as you saw he walked up there and they was outside talking like i don't know if i would ever do that for sweet baby like baby i don't know but that was so cute like she want to talk to her that boy she like oh he's 16 i'm 16 you know if your son want to talk to me i'm available at the hostess stand and he went right over there i wasn't ready for it though that's why i was like it just gave me a glimpse of like my future life because it was like I had to pay attention for a minute because you know what these folks say this roundabout they be doing too much um but it was just i was like i'm not ready i'm not ready to be having those 16 year old and then another 16 year old they was so cute like the girl was cute the boy is cute but just the fact of like how they met at the juicy crowd and she <laughs> Asked the mom first. It was so cute. Like I wasn't ready. And the mom, I couldn't record in there because they was playing Justin Bieber Picture Perfect. She just thought it was so funny. I don't know if I would be thinking that was funny. Cause I'd be like, sweet baby, you cannot go to Juicy Crab no more. <laughs> but hey, he probably already talking to girls, so she might be acclimated or have an older son. But Oh, boy moms that's so cute that was so cute and I'm glad I got to catch the little love connection on the vlog y'all especially cause the vlog ain't been doing work for nothing because your girl has been out for the count so what I got was some head on shrimp I just love shrimp with the head on and I got a side of rice usually I cook my own rice at home but I checked before I went and we didn't have any more rice. So that's what I got for my dinner. And yeah, I got to see a little love connection happen. So, and I got to share that with y'all. That was so cute and ghetto and scary. And it was ghetto because my motherly instinct was like, no, you need to be focused on your job. And he needs to stay his tail in the car that's my motherly instinct but the mom thought it was so cute and i guess so like if you do want your son dating anyone your girl a girl with a job you know that's a positive thing as well so all right y'all i just updating y'all on what was going on in the juicy crab and yeah bye I done made him a couple in my mind already because I didn't see the son at first until he walked up to go, I guess, to communicate with her. But he was a cute little boy and she was a cute little girl. And they about to have a little summer fling. <laughs> and like in a friendly way, y'all. Adults fling be different than a little summer fling. You know what I'm saying? But. <laughs> They about to text and talk, and that shit's about to be cute. Oh, I don't know if I'll be able to do that though, but I'll probably tell, tell Sweet Baby as we driving off. <laughs> Not the like, especially once I didn't got my food. Honey, you think I'm gonna wait for you to go flirt? I done got my food. I'm ready to go home. Cause she got her stuff to go to, so. But that was cute. I'm so I'm cheesy, cause I got to witness the little connection. I got to witness it from the beginning, y'all. I've been stuck in the house. God just blessed me with 
real entertainment. You know, love is always a good, good thing to see. Well, like, like is always a good thing to see. So it just, it was a, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. It wasn't no drum or nothing. Just beautiful. Hi guys, happy Thursday. So it's Thursday and we are back. Oh, you guys can't see it right now. We are back and we're going to Grind House for the second time. So this is what the outside looks like, killer burgers. And I'm excited because this time I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna get a better burger with ketchup and mustard. Last time I didn't get nothing on my burger because I didn't know like how to order. But I'm excited. <laughs> so we're headed in. Then you go through this little inner spot. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. Okay guys, so they play with music, but when the food comes out, I'll be sure to show you guys what we got. Okay, sweet baby, what did you get? My hamburger. You excited? Yes. Alright. Okay guys, so we trying their chili cheese fries for the first time. I got like a make your own burger. So this is how it looks with avocado and everything on it. Sweet baby got a meaty burger with ketchup and fries. And then got a cowboy burger with, this has an onion ring on it and bacon. So we're about to eat. Okay, sweet baby, about to pray, go ahead. God is blessing, God is good. Let us thank you for our food. God is in the all I say. Thank you, Lord, for the whole even in Jesus' name, I pray in you, God bless you. Amen, God bless you. Hey y'all, happy Friday. So today is Friday. I'm chewing gum, let me check it out. So your girl is about to go to swim because y'all, why am I so bored? I am so bored. Like I feel like this has been the longest, boringest week of summer that has ever existed. I guess probably if I would have went to the vacation, our family vacation, it'll probably been, I probably wouldn't be feeling this way, but y'all, I'm feeling this way. So, so bored. Um, uh, I wasn't even supposed to come to swim today, but I was just like, I gotta do something. I'm so, so bored. Are y'all bored? I know this this vlog was so bored. Nothing has happened. So then I was excited. I just got a phone call like literally three minutes ago. And I kind of got out of the and hung up on a lady. But I was supposed to have an ultrasound this Wednesday to see brother. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. The, the um we had to we had to cancel all appointments for for that day and um it, it was Wednesday. I don't know if I just said Thursday or Wednesday. So um we need to reschedule you to a further f time out. And I just said okay and hung up cuz are you giving me a choice? Are you giving me a choice? Are you saying that I could say that's not acceptable? Who want to wait? all this time to be stuck in Georgia with all these appointments. Yeah. I'm upset. Because honestly, I want to see brother. I want to see brother. You call me changing my appointment from, from, from years from now? It's irritating me. That's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, tw like twelve days away. That's twelve more days I gotta stay in Atlanta and then have another appointment with another doctor. It's just like I was supposed to have my midwife appointment the day before that, and then my 
ultrasound. That way I could have been out of Georgia for at least a good amount of time. But I can't even do that because you didn't change my appointment and I'm upset. And I want to see brother. So don't call me with no negative information on this Friday that I'm stuck in Atlanta <laughs> doing nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. I wanna I wanna go do something, y'all. I wanna go travel, do something. I need to do something. Cause I just feel like this this don't feel like summer vacation. It just feel like every every regular day and I'm tired. No, I just feel like, no, but seriously, I am tired of being in the same spaces, doing the same things. I am a person that likes to travel. I like adventure. I just, I got to go. But being that we had the virus, that just pushed everything back and out of the way. So, I'm going to figure out something, y'all. I got to figure out something. I got to figure out what I'm going to do. Because all these appointments that they trying to uh, bogart my whole life with, this day, that day, this day, that day. Oh, this week, this week, this week. Girl. Girl. I'm upset. Then she gonna ask me like I got a choice. That's the thing that just irritated me is, do I got a choice? Or are you telling me that y'all not gonna be there to do y'all job? So I don't really have a choice. Don't call me trying to be nice. Talking about, I'm sorry. No, you're not sorry. You're not sorry. Because if you were sorry, y'all would have never got my hopes up. So don't talk to me. But anyway, y'all, I made LA Fitness. About to go work out. And that's a good thing. But uh uh, I need a vacation. I need to travel. I need a trip. So. My phone is about to go dead already, so I'm not going to be able to record swim today. Not that y'all even see anything like that, but I will see y'all when I get done. And yeah, bye. All right, y'all, I'm out of class. And I'm about to eat. I'm at Dunkin' Donuts. I have to get a hash brown. And I should get Sweet Baby a donut. And then I'm going to BJ's. I hope BJ's got everything in my pickup order this time. Because they did say they had the sherbets in stock. And I don't think they sent me no email saying, oh, we didn't have a specific item. So... Hopefully, they got everything I asked for. Honey, I think they got everything I asked for. So, I'm excited to get these sherbets. But I'm about to give me some hash rounds just because I finished class and that's what I've been wanting. Class was good today. So, yeah. All right, guys. Welcome to the Hey, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Good. Can I get a small um, order of hash browns? Okay. And um, mango pineapple refresher. Is th does that, um, is I don't that... have mango pineapple. I only have peach at the moment. That, uh, and a cup of water. That'll be all. All right, would you like, would you take the peach? No, no, thank you. Oh, right. and also a chocolate ice sprinkled donut. Okay, so you got a hash round, a cup of water, and a chocolate frosted donut? Yes. All right, anything else today? That'll be all. It's 258. Thank you. Can I get a couple? Mm. Okay, y'all. It appears, <laughs> I don't know, it's got a little gleam. A ray of sunshine of God. But... 
I'm excited for this BJ's order. Where's my mama? She didn't even call me today. Let me call her. Don't you worry about a thing, pretty mama. All right, y'all. So today, your girl, I'm place for some oysters. So I was on Yelp and I found this place, New Orleans Daiquiri Seafood. So your girl is about to go and see what they chargra oysters taste like. I really wish I was in Florida so I could get some real oysters, but this is gonna have to do. Cause yeah. Thank you. Yes, I got you baby. And one table for one. Yeah. All right, y'all. So they don't got no umbrellas for all the chairs, but at least I'm out here. All right, y'all. Here's my food. I'm about to eat, and I got a sprite. It's a little bit hot, but. Hey y'all, so it's about, come on Snuggle. Now Snuggle wanna play sleep. It's about six o'clock in the evening. We are the Publix. I was sleeping the whole entire time. You was? Yeah. Come on sleep baby. But I did turn the music on. You did? Yeah. Okay, y'all, so we about to go. Somebody just messaged me. We about to go into the Publix, because, y'all, well, guess what we about to have for dinner? We about to have some tuna fish for dinner. And then Sweet Baby's um, little extracurricular activities for summer emailed me, and they told me that I have to send him with lunch and snack every day which I was not prepared for. Like, his school is the GOAT because they provide lunches and I don't think he ever just had lunches at home every day. And he probably not used to that because he used to his teacher, Miss Suggs, well not, not his teacher, his principal. Oh, you can hang out with me and my brothers. You probably too big. Yeah, me and my daddy. <laughs> Cool, okay. So, he used to, his principal, making food in the oven every day. So this is gonna be interesting because he eats sandwiches like a snack. He don't eat sandwiches like a meal. So I'ma just see how it goes, him having cold lunches every day. Yes, and I had an idea. What's your idea? We, we just, Yes, getting whipped cream because we had donuts. Now we did the whipped cream. Who said you're getting whipped cream? For the donuts to put it in the middle. I didn't know we were getting whipped cream, y'all. Okay. <laughs> forgot. Oh, I found something for my little, oh, little, little. You probably could have used these little snack containers for lunch. Little fishes. Goldfish, yes. So it's just interesting to think like every day I'm gonna have to make him a cold lunch. My mom said they have thermoses that stay warm, but I just don't know. Do y'all think this food can stay warm that long? I think, I, I know what I want for this. What? Maybe if I should um, take some snacks. Oh, they playing music. Be right back. What snack you gonna you wanna take? This one and Do you even like fruit roll ups? Yeah. Don't make that. Yes, I'll get those from BJ so you can get like a whole big thing. Yeah. Just I'll just sure. no, put those back and I'll I'm gonna order you some. Okay y'all, so everybody's been trying this Italian mix crunchy yeah. vegetables. So I'm getting it to try. And it's in mild. Let me see what other what other flavors they got. Okay, they only have mild, so I got mild. And then mm -hmm. something else I saw this girl eating on TikTok with these cheese noodles. So I got these because I never had cheese noodles. Me So we're excited to try those. 
You only taste the blue ones, pink ones. What about red ones? Yeah. That's beef. I taste all of them. Yeah, so do y'all feel like the Krispy Kreme donuts in the stove don't be good? They be like losing it. I don't know. The sugar be melting like that. Like it's that like when I was younger, I don't remember them um, like dissolving that like that. They must have used a different kind of sugar. You see that sugar My mom's getting eggs right now, but I really don't like eggs. She likes eggs. I hate eggs. I don't like oh, them. We, gotta get crackers too. we just skipped the cracker aisle. Okay. <laughs> and there were crackers at home. Well, I don't think, I think you ate most of them. I just ate one pack. Okay. Well, yeah. We just need to get more packs and let's see what kind of work. Ooh. Root. Yep, I need them. Guys, why did they make that? Those little nuts the on it. Those little nuts on top. I don't like the nuts. I don't eat them. I like to eat the stuff. Not the nuts. No, they're looking at me. I'm looking different here. Alien toys. Guys, I had this before at my doll in the house, but I, but I got it out and it went on and I drew it on my roof. But now her roof is fixed and have the toys off of it. Anything? Yeah. Okay. Yes, more, more, more. I'm back still. Ghost cracker. That's the old thing. Yes. Before I broke it. Like, bro, this is good for babies. It's good for babies, bro. That is good for baby proof. Baby proof. Hey guys, happy Saturday. So today is Saturday. Yes. Hey, sweet baby. Yes. Look at that chocolate on your chin. Wipe the chocolate off, please. Okay, y'all. So, we about to go to... We about, we about to go to an ultrasound appointment. Y'all know how upset I was yesterday about getting that phone call from my doctor's office. So, I just scheduled an appointment at Baby's First Imaging. So, we about to go. I have to go use the restroom, but yes. I'm going to just keep holding it because everybody knows it's better to get your ultrasound with a full bladder. So, yes, y'all. I'll never do I'm that. I'm excited to go see baby brother. You happy to see brother? Yes. <laughs> Let's see what he doing. It's been over 16 weeks since I saw him. I think, I think so he's it's dancing. time. I think he's dancing. <laughs> it is time for mama to see baby. Oh. I thought the, the baby was coming out. No, we're not. See we're not going to pick brother up. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, y'all. So here it is. Baby first imaging. I'm excited. You're about to go back. I'm excited. Okay, guys, and here is a baby brother. Here's just like a little video. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's his legs and his head and his arms, and he's just chilling with his feet up. 
Thanks so much for watching this week's vlog. Be sure to subscribe and watch some of my previous vlogs. And we look forward to seeing you. Look at those cute toes and feet. Legs. I just love them. <laughs>